ready for some more chord moves? I hope so. Now these are pretty elaborate chord moves. Uh, they're pretty involved. They're, there's a lot of chords in them. And you know, they work well as intros and endings. Um, so I think it's be really good for you to learn these. Um, I try to explain everything through you the, as we go through it close up. But basically, what we're doing is we're really trying to set up tonalities. Tonalities for a song to start or even to end. In other words, when I go... There's several tonalities floating around. And then, now we finally bring it home. Okay, and we can do that with several ways. note? Of course you can. It's right here, right? All right, so we set up the key of D in that particular um, progression, and it's kind of an interesting progression. It's pretty elaborate. So I think these will be really good for you, and hopefully it'll stir your creative juices and get you uh, excited about learning some of these things. And also give you some of the tools to experiment and develop your own, and that's really important. So anyway, let's get into the very first one. Now, before we do, uh, I think you probably have gotten uh, chord licks 1 through 13. So I'm going to pick up here, and we're going to start with chord lick number 14. So it's uh, just continuing with the series. So, anyways, hang out of your hat. Here we go. Hi there. Okay, lick number 15 is something that Ted Green had showed me. And basically what, we're, what we've got is the harmonized B-flat scale here. All right, there's the harmonized B-flat scale in kind of fourths. And now what we're doing is we're playing an extra note though. We're going... And this sets up the... Um, tonality of B flat. And now we're playing a little lick here just with up the scale, then G minor, uh, C minor 9, then to B flat, uh, B 13, some kind of F sound with the flat 5 principle going on, and then to B flat. So these moves are a great little intro. Don't you agree? Let me show it to you. We're starting up here on a B flat 6 9, and we're going to go right down the scale of B flat. So here's B flat 6 9, and then we're going to hit a G. So, now this is the 13th fret here. And then take it down two frets to E flat, 6 9. And do the same move. Then B flat, major 7. And then up to an E flat there. Then A minor 7 5 5. Uh, you might think of this as an F dominant chord same move. So that first measure looks like this. And I like to do a roll with the picking hand instead of just all at once. B flat. Now here's it gets a little 
uh, funny here. I've got an F7 with a suspended fourth. It looks like this. Those three notes. And an a, a there. So. And then E flat major uh, 7 with a sharp 11. It looks like this. E flat A D G. And this is the only tough move. You gotta get you know, skip two frets. Now if it's too hard, grab it right here. You, you could even do a crossbar where you're putting your first finger here and your little the knuckle here is barring on the fifth fret. And then to D minor 11. So, so far, here's what we've got. Now, the last measure, we're walking right up the scale. I'm going C uh, minor 11. Then D minor 11. This E flat major 7 with a sharp 11. Then G minor 11. So that's. Then up here to a, a uh, C minor 9. And I'm going to play the top part of this first. These four notes. Thumb's going to come down and grab this C. Then I've got this B13, which is functioning as a some type of F chord. It's the flat five substitution. So I've got, and then I'm grab the B. So I've got, and then down to the E flat, and then I'm boring across, or excuse me, the B flat, bar across on this G. C, F, and E flat. So the whole lick looks like this.